Just four years ago, I was laid off thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic, was struggling to break into data analytics, and was doing my best to learn Python, data visualization, and SQL. Today, I not only have a full-time data job, but also make a steady amount of passive income with data analytics. The money that I make online can be used to completely replace my full-time job. And in this video, I am going to show you exactly how I did it. I'm going to give you five ways to make money with data analytics, even if you have no prior experience, no degree, and are completely new to analytics. So take out a pen and a piece of paper because I'm about to share so much information with you. This is an entire roadmap that you can use to make money with data analytics. It is four years of research and experience combined into a single video. So I'm going to share a lot of information with you and I recommend writing some of this down so that you can revisit it later. Let's get into it. The first and the easiest possible way to make money with data analytics is through something called affiliate marketing. Now, what is affiliate marketing? Let's say you take the Google data analytics certification on Coursera and you really like it. You're learning a lot from it. You can simply share your own unique referral link to this course with a unique code. If another person clicks on your referral link and purchases this course, then a percentage of the course fee will go to you. I used to consistently make like $200 or $300 from affiliate marketing just by sharing links to courses that I had taken. You can see my dashboard over here. This is back in 2021 when I first started out. So it's a simple enough concept. If you like a course, you just share a link to it. If people buy the course, you get a portion of the revenue. So if like 10,000 people click on your link, then you'll make like a million dollars, which all sounds great. There is zero barrier to entry. You don't even need to be skilled in data analytics. You're literally just sharing a link and you're making hundreds or even thousands of dollars as people click on your link. But how do you get people to click on your unique link in the first place? And how do you get them to buy a course that you recommend? This is where trust and platform comes in. One, people need to know that you exist. And two, they need to trust you enough to buy a course that you're recommending. And that is where income source number two comes in. Income source number two is writing. When you write data analytics articles and tutorials online, other people are going to see your work, they're going to benefit from it, and they're going to start following you. As you have more readers and more followers, these people are going to be willing to buy the courses that you recommend. They're the ones who are going to click on your affiliate links and purchase products that you suggest. And then your affiliate income will skyrocket. I want to introduce you to this idea called practice in public. This basically means whatever it is that you're doing, whether you're learning a code, building a dashboard, or taking an online course, you share it publicly, regardless of your level of experience. Even if you're a complete beginner, you share things online as you learn them. Share your projects, your code, your learning progress. Have you learned anything new recently? Are you working on anything interesting? Here is the first ever project that I have worked on. It is a data science project and I wrote an article about it on a platform called Medium. Now, I can guarantee you that my code isn't optimized, my machine learning skills were subpar, and my writing was pretty bad. But every single opportunity that I have received till date, I can attribute to that first article. I've had employers reach out to me for freelance jobs, full-time jobs, consulting opportunities, brand partnerships, all because of my online writing. Now, don't get me wrong, your first day of writing online, nothing's gonna happen. Day two, crickets. Day seven, you'll probably get one comment and it's probably gonna be from a bot that's trying to scam people. And then along the way, somewhere around day 50, something incredible happens. Someone sees your dashboard and goes, hey, could you possibly create something similar for my company? I'll pay you $500 to do it. Another person sees your Python code and goes, could we possibly schedule one-to-one -one consultation calls where you teach me how to code? I've been trying to learn Python for the longest time. People start clicking on your affiliate links. You get paid just for sharing resources that have helped you. 
all of these things have happened to me. I was paid about $500 to build a machine learning model for a consultation firm. I was paid about $30 to schedule 30 minute consultation calls, helping people with things like web scraping, dashboarding, and data visualization. And while this might not sound like much money, I was still very, very new to data analytics at this point. I was still in the learning stage. I didn't even have my first job yet. And as your analytical skills improve and as you gain more experience, you can always increase your prices. Still not convinced? Don't just take it from me. This is Megan Liu. She used to work in financial consulting and eventually got tired of her role. She decided to make a career transition into data analytics. And while she was learning data analytics, she made LinkedIn posts sharing some of her work and her findings. One day, an employer came across her LinkedIn posts. And because of one specific LinkedIn post, they decided to hire her as a data analyst. Ever since then, Megan has had multiple six-figure jobs in data analytics. Because of all of her posts on LinkedIn, she even got hired by LinkedIn to become a data analytics instructor. She's now a LinkedIn learning instructor. How great is that? Imagine if she just applied to job postings on LinkedIn and Indeed. Yes, she'd probably have a great job by now, but she wouldn't be making even half the amount of money that she's earning right now. Now, she not only has a great full-time job, but she also has all of this additional income from brand partnerships, speaking engagements, and online courses. And that's ultimately where we want to get to, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Still not convinced? This is Daniel Burke. He used to be an Uber driver. He started teaching himself machine learning in between driving and during his free time. Eventually, he also started sharing his work across platforms like YouTube, Medium, and LinkedIn. One day, an employer came across some of his work on Medium and they decided to hire him as a machine learning intern. Today, Daniel makes over $10,000 just by sharing his content online through articles and on YouTube, through affiliate marketing, and by creating online courses that have over hundreds of thousands of students. He does all of this remotely while working from home, and he makes more money than a lot of data scientists and data analysts. This man went from Uber driver to making over $10,000 a month just by sharing his work online and writing articles. So hopefully I've now convinced you to share your work online and write articles because the number of doors that this can open for you is unimaginable. So how do you start writing online? Look, I get it. We're not writers, we're data analysts, and it can be very difficult to get started with writing. And that's why I have linked my own Medium profile in the description. You can click on it and read the articles that I used to write. You can create something similar if you want to. I used to write articles every time I created a new project or every time I took an online course. The thing is, you don't even need to write an entire article like I did. You can just keep it simple. The point here is to have people notice you on the internet because here's what's going to happen once you build a following. Employers will start approaching you for freelance work or for full-time gigs. Brands will start reaching out to you for paid partnerships. You can start taking up consulting gigs or paid teaching gigs. And you can also start making money from affiliate marketing. And this kind of online presence, it doesn't necessarily have to be created through long articles or tutorials on Medium. You can build a similar presence by just creating short posts on LinkedIn, Instagram, or X. That's exactly what Megan Leo did. And today, she's a LinkedIn learning instructor. She also has a full-time job in data analytics, and she makes over six figures a month with no prior background in data analytics and coding. Now, if you're just getting started, here are two writing platforms that I recommend. The first is Medium. If you don't already know what Medium is, check out the link in my description. Medium pays you for each view that your article gets. So in my case, this article got about 100,000 views and that's why I was paid like $1,000 for it. The second platform is Substack. Substack is similar to Medium, 
but you only get paid if people subscribe to your newsletter, which is a bit more complicated and it's a bit harder to reach if you're a complete beginner. So if you're completely new to writing, then I suggest sharing your work on Medium first. And then there's LinkedIn. Of course, you don't get paid any money for simply posting on LinkedIn, but if you post consistently, like Megan did, you'll start getting more followers and more connections. And recruiters and employers will start noticing you, so the chances of you getting job opportunities and freelance gigs will increase. And you might also start getting things like brand partnerships and speaking engagements. Other platforms where you can share your work and build up a following are X and Quora. Okay, now let's talk money. On average, I make about $100 to $500 for every article that I publish on Medium. When I first started out, I made like $1 on my first article. And that's because Medium pays you based on the number of reads that you get. One day, I wrote an article on sentiment analysis. This was a complete tutorial teaching people how to build a sentiment analysis model in Python. That article got a ton of views and I made $1,000 from it. You see, apart from the huge network you'll build, writing articles on topics like data analytics, data science, and machine learning also pays very well. I've had companies reach out to me after seeing some of my articles on Medium, and they've asked me to write similar articles for their blogs. And I've been paid anywhere between $100 to $1,500 for these roles. That's the power of simply sharing your work online. The third way to make money as a data analyst is to sell analytics to people you already know. Okay, this one might sound a bit unconventional, but hear me out because it's a really simple way to start making money with your skills, even if you don't have a huge portfolio or an online presence. You can simply sell your services to people who are already in your network. For example, I know a small business owner who is also kind of a friend and he stores all of his data in different Excel files. Purchase data, inventory, sales data, all of it in separate spreadsheets. Now, a person like this probably does little to no customer analysis to try and figure out what they should be selling or what kinds of services would perform best. They also probably spend a lot of manual hours just trying to consolidate all of their files and get things done. You can go to a person like this and say the following. Hey, I can help you get all of your Excel files in one place. I'll make sure that all of your data is easily accessible. I'll also build a dashboard so that you can see your most profitable customers as well as your best-selling products and services over time. This way, you get to save hours each week working on things that actually matter to your business. Also, with my dashboard, you'll be able to identify your best products and services. You'll also be able to track who your top customers are and analyze customer spending patterns. This will improve both your marketing and product strategy and will help you make better business decisions. And I'll do all of this for just $200. Okay, so let's talk about this example. Yes, $200 isn't a lot for the amount of work that you'll be doing, but remember, you don't have any paid work, you don't have a portfolio, and you're pretty new to analytics. Also, $200, that's a really small investment for the amount of value that you're providing and for the amount of potential upside to the business. Chances are, if you already know this person and have some sort of relationship with them, they're gonna say yes. And if things go really well and if they like your work, then one, you're gonna have a great testimonial that's gonna help you land future jobs and two, you can always start charging for regular updates and maintenance to the dashboard. And you can increase your prices as your skills improve. And the worst thing that can happen, they say no. Otherwise, you have a paid data analytics job and the opportunity to work on a real business's data set. The takeaway is this, start small. Start with your friends, some relatives, or people you already know. Yes, you won't get paid that well, but as you start doing a good job, you'll be able to build a steady client base and you'll start making more money. Also, this isn't some kind of toy data set on Kaggle. This is real work. You're getting your hands on real world data and you're using it to drive tangible business outcomes. 
This is gonna look so good on your portfolio, it's gonna look great on your resume, and it's gonna 10x your chances of getting that first data analytics job. The fourth way to make money with data analytics is to come up with product reviews. This ties in to content creation and affiliate marketing, and we've talked about those things earlier in this video. So once you start posting regularly on LinkedIn, you can start writing course reviews. For example, if you've taken the Tableau course on Udemy, you can write a review of the course. Talk about everything you learned in the course, what you liked about it, and what you didn't like. This way, you're learning from the course, but you're also publicly sharing your opinion of it. And if the course was good, you can add an affiliate link to the course, and as people click on the affiliate link, you'll start making money. If you do this often enough, chances are the course creator or the platform owner Companies like Datacamp and Coursera might even reach out to you to do brand partnerships. I've seen many data scientists and data analysts make money simply by doing this. Of course, please be honest with your audience. Only review courses and products that you've actually taken. And if a course is bad, don't give it a good review saying that it's good just to make money because people are going to see through that if you do it too many times and then they're going to lose trust in you. The final idea is to start teaching data analytics. Now, there's two ways to do this. The first way is to launch your own product. So you can launch your own data analytics bootcamp, an online course, or an ebook. But if you're just starting out, this is going to be really hard to do because you're still in the learning phase and you won't have the time or the resources to launch your own product. Instead, if you want an easier way to make money online, then here's what I recommend doing. First, make sure that you have some foundational knowledge in things like SQL, Python, Excel, and Tableau. And then go to one of these companies that's hiring for part-time data analytics instructors. Some of these companies include Springboard, Thinkful, and General Assembly and apply to one of these roles. These companies actively hire part-time data analytics instructors, and a lot of these positions are remote, which means that you can make money by working from home. I recommend just applying and seeing where you get. The best part is you don't even need to be an expert at data analytics to start teaching. You just need to be one or two steps ahead of someone who is a complete beginner. In fact, most of the companies that I've listed will have their own learning material and their own curriculum. So you don't even need to prepare anything of your own. You've just got to deliver and present this material to students and you'll get paid. This is a great way to learn data analytics while you're making money. I am giving you homework. These are things that I want you to do after watching this video so that you go out there and actually start making money with analytics instead of just saying you're going to do it. So here's your homework. Your first homework task is to create a proper introduction of yourself on LinkedIn. If you're watching this video, I hope that you already have a LinkedIn account. If you don't, what are you doing? Go create one. But the point here is to write up an intro of yourself. Talk about what you're currently learning, projects that you're working on, the university that you go to, or the current job that you hold. We want to make sure that your network knows exactly who you are and what you're currently doing. And here's why. Most opportunities in life start with the phrase, hey, I know a guy. For example, this is Andrew. Andrew says, I'm looking for someone to build a website for my company, and I just don't know anyone who's trustworthy enough. Jill says, Oh, I know a guy. I've seen some of his posts on LinkedIn. His name is Alex. I think he's really new to this, but he seems really driven and has a great portfolio. Andrew says, great, can you put us in touch? And just like that, Alex gets a paid freelance opportunity, although he's a complete beginner and never would have been able to land a job like this all on his own. But he did, because someone in his network saw him, liked his work, and recommended him. Never underestimate the power of just introducing yourself to other people, networking, and sharing your work publicly. Literally every opportunity that I have had till date is because other people saw my work and liked it. Your second homework task is to create and share an affiliate link. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing that you've taken at least one data analytics online course in your life. So write a review of this course and share it on a platform like LinkedIn or X and include an affiliate link to this course 
on your post. The whole point of this is to just learn to create and share an affiliate link. That's all. It doesn't matter if you have zero connections or 10,000. Whether you've taken an online course on Coursera, DataCamp, or Udemy, you can share an affiliate link to this course using their affiliate program. And if you get stuck or get confused, just Google how to do it. It's really easy. Of course, at first, nobody is going to click on your affiliate link. But as you build a larger network of data analysts, and as you start posting more frequently, people are going to start clicking on your affiliate links and you're going to start making money. The first dollar that I made online completely transformed my life because it helped me realize that there were so many other ways to make money than simply having a corporate job. Your final homework task is to consume tons of data analytics content. You just need to read a lot about data analytics. I recommend getting a Medium subscription because there's so many great data analytics articles on the platform, but that costs about $5 a month. And if you'd like a free alternative, then I'd suggest something like Katie Nuggets, Data Camp, or Analytics Vidya. You don't have to write an article or do anything. You just have to sign up to one of these platforms and start consuming content. Read at least two articles per week. When you start reading data analytics articles and tutorials on these platforms, here's what will happen. One, your own analytical skills will improve because you're consuming content from thought leaders in the field. I recommend following people who already have the jobs that you want. People like Daniel Burke and Megan Liu. Remember, what you feed your brain is what you become. So instead of watching TikTok videos or mindlessly scrolling through Instagram reels, why don't you watch a video or read an article on data analytics? Read an article from Bernard Marr about how to create a profitable data strategy or how AI is going to change the landscape of data analytics. I can guarantee you doing so is going to change your career because you're going to be learning and consuming content from thought leaders in the field, from people who are multiple steps ahead of you, people who are where you want to be. Listen, online courses are just one part of learning. There are over 2 million people enrolled into the Google Data Analytics certification course. But how many of those people actually know how to solve business problems with data? How many of them stay on top of the field? Simply consuming information about the field you want to break into can be so valuable. When you join networking sessions, when you connect with like-minded individuals, you'll be able to have much better conversations because you will know so much from everything that you've read. And because of this, so many more opportunities will come your way. And during things like data analytics interviews, you will be able to perform so much better simply because of how well-read you are. The second reason to read more is because it's going to deepen your knowledge of data analytics. And as you gain more insight into the field, you'll get so many ideas to write and to share. Ideas for LinkedIn posts and Medium articles will come to you like this. And that's where we want to get to. Because as you start sharing more and writing posts online, the opportunities will start pouring in. You will start getting freelance opportunities, opportunities for full-time gigs, consultation roles, brand partnerships, and you'll also be able to make money through things like affiliate marketing. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video helped in some way in your data analytics journey. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.